What's going on guys? Welcome to a muggy Sherness where I'm gonna try to do some minimalist landscape photography today here around town. Okay, minimalist landscape photography, that's kind of the game, that's what we're gonna try to do today. But first, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace.com. If you're looking for a place to house your travel photography or landscape photography, website, portfolio, blog, or maybe try to sell some prints, Squarespace.com has a lot of really amazing templates that make creating a website really easy. So if you're looking for a place to do that, head to Squarespace.com slash Brendan Benson and you'll get a discount on your first purchase over there. Now minimalism, Minimalism is not something I do good. It's not one of my talents at all. But there's something really special about minimalism that I've always really appreciated. And I also think that it's one of those things that you can kind of do no matter where you are in the world. So here on the Isle of Sheppey today, that's kind of what I'm aiming to try to do. So as I walk to the first location, I wanna kinda of get the boring vocabulary out of the way, and then we'll get on to making the photos, which is obviously the fun part. But minimalism essentially is just the art of keeping things simple, the art of simplicity, if you will. And the thing I love about minimalism is not only can you do it anywhere, but you can actually do it in any field of photography or art. You can do it for street photography, portraits, architecture, wildlife. And of course, landscape photography. The whole goal of minimalist photography is to keep things simple. It's making the choice to remove things from your photo rather than add elements. I always kind of just want everything in my photo. I want it to be busy and have a lot going on. I want it to be exciting. But minimalism has this really special, calming like art to it. And it's something I've always tried to get better at. Hopefully, I can... Uh, do a good job today. So um, yeah, the location is just up here. Let's go. Okay, just arriving at my location, and I don't know where all these birds were when I was trying to do bird photography the other day. If you haven't seen that video, it's up there. I did get some swans, but that's about it. Anyways, we're at this location, and the reason I mentioned last video is because on the last video, I was also at this location. Let me drop my bag. And some of you, with keen eyes, noticed that the boat I photographed wasn't the one I showed you, so there was this one but then there's actually a second boat over here. The boat's a little bit destroyed. I don't know how it got destroyed between uh, the past three days. So with minimalism, the goal here is trying to be really, really simple. In the photo I shared with you guys last time, I showed sky, I got a bunch of things involved, I tried using lines. In this image, I'm gonna set up my tripod on top of this with a longer lens and a longer exposure and just keep this image super, super simple. Okay, I think I'm pretty set up here. It's kind of simple, uh, but that's the point, I guess. I've got the boat here. It's windy, so it's moving a little bit. I might not be able to go as long with my exposure as I'd hoped. A lot of times with minimalism, especially when there's water involved, you really wanna get a long exposure so it kind of just washes everything out and doesn't become a distraction. So I want at least a 30 second exposure here. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. The boat's not moving that much. Um, also with minimalist landscape photography, a lot of times you're trying to simplify the scene as much as you can, so I'm gonna remove the color as well. So in my picture style, I'm switching down to uh, monochrome so I can just see what the exposure looks like in black and white as I do it. I'm gonna put a, a polarizer on to cut out some of this reflection, I think, and then probably a 10-stop ND should do the trick. So 
hopefully this works. Very simple. And as I sit here taking the photo, I go, wow, it's just too simple. <laughs> but I guess that's the point. Okay, so I've had to put on a grad filter as well just because uh, it's really bright on the top actually. We're kind of backlit here. So polarizer, 10 stop ND, and grad ND, F11. Let's spin the shutter speed until it looks right. He, it's gonna be, uh, wow. It, okay, maybe we just need the six stop. Let's try with the six stop first. Way too dark. Six stop ND, Let's slide that in. I'm hoping for about 30 seconds to try and then I'm gonna go from there. Yeah, it looks like 30 seconds is F16. I guess that's gonna have to work. Spin the polarizer till the glare is gone. There it is. Tap for focus. I'm just focusing on the very front of the boat. And then two second timer. And let's see how this goes. Here we go, and wow, it actually, I think it looks really good. It's sharp, it's dreamy, I like it. Okay, I think that came out pretty good actually, to be honest. I like the mood of it, and I like how it kind of has some mystery to it. Eee, this minimalism thing is kind of growing on me. I'm not walking far, which is why the gear is still in my hand like this, because I saw these four stakes in the water, and I thought potentially at maybe 70 millimeters or maybe even farther, this could potentially work for a similar style image. If you don't have a secret candy stash in your camera bag, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> the, the photo didn't really work. Neither does talking with your mouth full. Sorry about this. The photo didn't really work. For some people, minimalist photography is like an art form. For me, it's trial and error. And I think to get good at photography, no matter what you're doing, you just gotta trial and error. You just gotta try different things and then eventually you'll see what works and what doesn't. Or if you're like me, You'll never figure it out, but you'll still have fun with it. So um, I'm having fun with it. I'm having a good time. And I'm gonna have a good time by continuing towards the beach. Made it to the beach as you can see, and it is like a low tide. It looks like it actually might be coming in. It also looks like I have a really long walk to get to where I wanted to photograph. Remember the sea stakes that I photographed a couple videos ago? You guys told me they're called groins, which really doesn't sound right at all. But I want to photograph some of the groins in the water. <laughs> I grossly underestimated how long it would take me to walk here. It's been like 45 minutes and I have like 10 minutes until sunset. Uh, I am at the groins. <laughs> I'm amongst groins, but I think there's better ones farther up. So I'm going to keep moving even though the, the light's running out because the light doesn't matter nearly as much for this style of photography. When you do like classic landscape photography, you want epic light and soft light and really nice colors and things like that. For minimalist photography, you almost want simple light, soft light, yes, but you don't need dramatic, crazy skies. You just need simplicities. Okay, I think I see some groins that I like. It almost kind of looks like a sunken fence.
Okay, I finally made it down to, <laughs> I finally made it down to a place that I obviously can't stand properly. I'm down amongst the groins and I think I have a photo that I like. It's not as minimalist as I was hoping for, but I think it does work. I've got the groins, it never sounds right when you say it. I've got the groins in front of me and it kind of looks like a fence in the water which I guess that's kind of what it is. But I've decided to place a rock in the foreground as well, just to de-simplify it. Just because you're doing minimalist pho photography doesn't mean that you can't do whatever you want. It's photography, have fun with it. So I have this rock in the foreground just because I think it looks so different as a texture to everything else. It's really rugged and, and sharp and then everything else is soft. I've shot the image at f11, 30 seconds with a three stop ND and a grad filter. And I'm not focus stacking even though it's at 70 millimeters and the groins are out of focus because I want them to be soft. I want them to look a little bit dreamy and a little bit out there in the front to look really edgy. So I'm very, very happy with this. I don't know if this will be black or white, black and white or color. I guess you'll find out in a second. And in the end, I made two long exposure minimalist landscape photos today, and I, I definitely can't complain about that. I'm happy with the boat photo from earlier. I'm happy with this photo, and I'm just happy to be getting outside every now and then. And uh, yeah, it's been fun. There'll be another video on Sunday where I'm gonna do a lot of walking. Spoiler, like 26 miles worth of walking. I'll see you there. Peace.